civic leadership is really important for countries where the demographics are changing rapidly to ensure that those communities are reflected in leadership positions in civic society and in political systems. My work at the New American Leaders Project is specific to the United States. Our goal is to ensure that people who exhibit leadership qualities and are from minority communities are able to have the tools and the access that they need to have their voices amplified in the political process. Why is this important? Why is it important that a person of Asian background, of Muslim background, of African background is reflected in our leadership positions? Because for one thing, if I, someone like me, is on the ballot, is asking for the vote of communities, of members of my community, perhaps those community members might be more likely to come out and vote and participate. In America, of course, democracy is quite robust, but voting is not mandatory. So in order to boost participation by voters, we want to give them choices of people who not just look like them, but who they feel some sort of kinship to. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that as a person of minority background, I understand the challenges of integration. I understand what it means to navigate the educational system, to try to get a job, to participate politically. And so if someone like me is in office, I'm able to create policies that, that, un, that reflect the needs of my community. And so our work at the New American Leaders Project is about training people who are newly arrived or who are the children of newly arrived Americans, helping them to understand how to be more active citizens and to help strengthen the democracy of our country.